They say rise from error to truth is beautiful. In this video we will see how to remove errors using if error function. If error function was introduced in Excel 2007 and ever since I have been using it to keep my output clean. It's very useful when using VLOOKUP function which can return an error if you can't find the data we are looking for. Let's try this with an example to understand this function better. I have a list of top selling products and I want to know the sales of each product. I have put a VLOOKUP for it and I am getting an error in the first two cells. These errors make my output look sloppy. That's where if error function comes into play. If error function has two parameters. The first is usually a formula you want to evaluate. It will return the value of the first parameter if an error is not detected. If error is found, it will return the value of the second parameter. We can adapt the if error function in the above example. So if error so the first parameter is the VLOOKUP function uh, which I want to evaluate. If there is no error found, it will return the value of the VLOOKUP function. And if some error is found, I just want a zero to be displayed. So since there is an error, a zero is displayed. Similarly, you can also display a text if you want if you don't want to display a zero, so copy this to the below cell. Let's see uh, how you can do that. So type in the text that you want between two quotes and press enter. So here I can get a custom text say not found wherever I get an error. 